Hey there, and welcome to Approvals for Confluence. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started with approvals, from navigating the app to using its core features. But don't worry, whilst this video is longer than usual, it's broken up into chapters, so you can skip forward to the sections that are most important to you. Let's get started. Once Approvals is installed, you can start using it within any of your Confluence pages by clicking on the Add Approval located here at the top of the page. Once the Approvals window has opened, you just need to click on Request Approval to open the Approval Configuration screen and start setting up your approval process. On the left-hand side, you can edit the notifications, expiration, and quorum size of the approval. Next, let's add your approvers. Start by typing the names of the users within the Add an Approver field, and then selecting the names of the individuals. If you are using the Teams feature in Approvals, the Approval team will also appear when you type in this field. Once you have selected the individuals or teams needed for your approval, select Confirm to start the approval process. At this point, the selected approvers will be notified that their approval is required, and the approval status will show as pending. If you click the approval status at the top of your Confluence page, you can monitor the approval progress by viewing the status, date, and the reviewers involved in the approval process. If you are an approver and have been requested to review a Confluence page, let's look at how easy it is to approve an item. To get started, click on the email of the approval request, which will open the page of the approval. Then, to open the page approval, simply click the pending status here. The approval screen will open that will display your name and the approval action on the right-hand side. Once you have selected your approval decision, you will be navigated to the comment section to leave the approval owner feedback. If you have no feedback, simply click approve and the approval status of the page will show as approved. It's worth mentioning that you can also see any pending approvals by using the approval search. Next up, we're going to look at how to get a specific section of your Confluence page approved using the popular section approval macro. Section approvals are particularly useful if you need different people to review and approve parts of a Confluence page. They are also really powerful when used in templates. To get started, open the Confluence page and navigate to the section of the page you want to send for approval. Within the edit mode, start by typing forward slash on the keyboard, followed by section approval. Select the section approval option that appears in the results. This will open the configuration window where you can set up the approval. On the left-hand side, you can name your section approval here. This is really useful if you have multiple section approvals within a page or want to match up the section approval with a specific piece of content. Next, it's time to select the approvers. Start by typing the name of your reviewers in the field under approvers as shown here, and then select the users once they appear in the search results. In a similar way to page approvals, if you have set up approval teams, then the teams will appear here. The approver selected will appear under the approver section as shown here. You can easily configure the section approval within this settings window and have access to the expiration and notification options. Once completed, click confirm and the section approval will now be active within your Confluence page. Please note the approval process will not begin until you have published your Confluence page. The section approval status will show as in review within the macro and the approvers will be notified by email. If you have been requested to approve a section, simply follow the link sent to you via email, and this will navigate you to the approval. You will see your name and the approval action within the section approval macro. From here, select your approval decision. Once approved, the approval will be updated and the status will be updated within the macro. Now that we have created and requested both page and section approval, let's just into the approval search so you can see this in action. To access the approval search, navigate to apps on the left-hand side menu and click approval search. Here you will see all the status of all pages using approvals for Confluence. If you have many pages within your space using approvals or need to narrow down your search, you can do this by using the filter option. You can narrow your search by the approval type, the space, the approval status, and the users. Once configured, the search results will update based on your selection. You can also action the pending approvals within the approval search by clicking the tick boxes under space. Once selected, click on bulk change, and this will open to give you the option to approve or reject the selected pending approvals. And that's the three core features in approvals for Confluence. 
Next, we're going to dive into the administrator settings. So if you're a Confluence admin, keep on watching. Before we begin, it's important to point out that you can configure approvals within the global admin settings or space settings. If you are only a space admin, you will not be able to access the global configuration settings. First, we need to access the global configuration settings. Once the settings have opened, click settings under the approvals for Confluence subheading in the left-hand navigation menu. Here you can activate and deactivate approvals for Confluence across your entire Confluence site. We would recommend you empower your space admins to activate or deactivate approvals within their own spaces, but the choice is yours. Approvals for Confluence is designed to be flexible to your needs. With that said, let's jump to the space settings so you can see what configuration options are available to space admins. You can find space settings here and navigate to approval under app links. The approval settings will open where you can configure how you want the approvals to work. Make sure the enable approvals button is switched on so that approvals is available for the pages in that space. As you can see, there are a lot of configuration options available and we'll walk you through the most important. Starting with default approvals. This allows you to set up your approvals in advance and all new approvals within this Confluence space will have the same setup by default. Your users can of course customize it further, but this is a really useful option if you want to provide some consistency. To set up your default approvals, click on the Change Default Settings. This will open a screen where you can configure your approval process. The setup process is the same as before. Once completed, click Save to apply your changes. Next, you have the option to configure which users can create or edit approvals within that space by using the permission settings located here. This feature allows you to control who can use and configure approvals within Confluence pages. To get started, type in the name of the groups within the status box under permissions, and the group name will appear below. Once completed, only the users belonging to those groups will have the ability to create and edit approvals. Finally, let's jump into the approval teams feature we spoke about earlier. This feature allows you to create approval teams and can be really helpful if you have the same groups of people reviewing and approving content. To create an approval team, start by clicking on create a team. Give your approval team a short name and description and then add the people you want to include by using this field here. Once done, save the approval team by clicking create. You can view all approval teams that have been created just here. And there we have it. That was a quick run through of all the admin settings in Approvals for Confluence. Just remember, you are not alone when using approvals. We have user guides and a bunch of video tutorials available to help you whenever you need it. You can find these resources through the Approvals Help Center. We also have a customer support team available to help, and you can raise a ticket with them by clicking the Contact Support option you see here. For now though, we hope you and your teammates enjoy using Approvals for Confluence.